Hi, this is Polly. Welcome back to my channel. So great to have you here. Um, we are continuing our Alaska vacation and today we are traveling from Anchorage to Southeast and uh, we are planning to uh, fly Alaska Airlines into Ketchikan and then we'll take a puddle jumper which is a small uh, aircraft from Ketchikan to Prince of Wales Island. From Prince of Wales Island, we will visit some of the totem poles in the area. Uh, Craig is known for uh, logging and fishing. They have such beautiful waters there, beautiful terrain. It's like a uh, forest, a rainforest. It is so lush and beautiful. Totem poles in Alaska are considered sacred, but they are not a religious symbol of the indigenous people there. Um, they are uh, absolutely beautiful works of art, and they can represent many things like events, like a birth or a death. They represent marriages, people, animals, and uh, totem poles are uh, revered by native Alaskans, and there are at least six different types. They really are quite beautiful works of art. The um, poles will describe a story. Some of them describe the family history, the tribal history, the family lineage, and some of them are memorials or funerals that... Uh, represent an elder's life or a tribal member and um, there's also commemorative poles or mortuary uh, grave marker type of poles. While we were there we also saw some beautiful wildlife. There was a black bear and uh, some deer that were feeding in the nearby area. While we were on Prince of Wales Island, we were able to visit SARA, acronym for Southern Southeast Regional Aquaculture Association. And uh, they are a private nonprofit corporation, and they are there to enhance and rehabilitate salmon. So we visited the hatchery. Wow, it was a very fast 24 hour visit. And we enjoyed walking the boardwalks, enjoying the amazing vistas and views, the mountains straight up from the ocean, the Pacific Ocean, and uh, enjoying the, the beautiful boats that were moored in the harbor there. We really enjoyed it. Then we were back to beautiful Anchorage and we needed to recharge our batteries, so we stopped by to get a pastry and some coffee to keep us going. Then we needed to buy another suitcase. Are you ready for coffee? Coffee. 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 Oh, the icing Ooh, yummy. Mm -hmm. Lemony. Local. And mm -hmm. what is the beverage that we have? This is a cappuccino grande made with oat milk. Very light. Oat milk. We do like to name our suitcases, and this suitcase will now be known as Iris. From Anchorage, we headed north in the rental car to the Muskox Farm, which is located on the north side of Palmer, Alaska. That's about an hour and 10 minute drive, hour and 15 minute drive north of Anchorage. Now, I did not realize how valuable muskox hair is. Uh, they use this hair. They can only comb them once a year. They collect the hair, weave it together in such a manner as to create this very lush and desired yarn that knitters and crocheters use all over the world. They make the most magnificent, beautiful uh, hats, gloves, scarves, sweaters, socks. They are so soft and 
absolutely lovely. And um, they were quite expensive. So we elected not to purchase them, but it's far more expensive than cashmere and um, much more um, unique and uh, desired. Uh, this little girl here is about 600 pounds and she is, I believe she said two years old. They only have one that was born this year and um, they were really uh, quite docile looking, but I know they can be aggressive as well. One thing I thought was very interesting that if they felt uh, threatened in any manner, the they would congregate and uh, all form a circle and have their shoulders together with their head out. And so the younger would be in the middle, but then all of the male and female would encompass the entire circle to protect each other in that way. Now this is the Matsu Valley where vegetation is grown for this state. They grow hay, they grow large vegetables, and they do not get very much snow in this area, mainly because of the wind. So this is a perfect place for them to raise this herd of uh, muskox. It's also really expensive to keep the fencing. That's our number one expense. Uh, <laughs> our no number two expense is feeding them and taking care of them. Yeah. And then once a year, each animal weighs about four to five pounds average. So we get about 300, 350 pounds a year. Out of that, after it's processed, it's very delicate. It was so breezy there. I wish I could share more of the information that she shared, but it's just difficult to uh, understand what she is saying. They put their feet in their water trough to cool off. Uh, There's a vestigial sweat gland actually in, their, in the back of their ankles, which is fascinating to me. Um, these guys have been around a while. They've they're survivors, so they outlive the woolly mammoth, and they outlive some other animals that aren't along, along with us anymore. Very adaptable animals. Um, again, this is an Arctic animal living in Palmer, Alaska. Yep. So the Muskox Farm is an actual nonprofit organization. They domesticate the muskox, which is an Ice Age mammal that once roamed the earth, uh, along with the saber-toothed tigers and woolly mammoths. She's, she and Luna are our two current oldest, they're 20, which is... We don't get as much snow here as other parts of the interior do, and that's good for these guys. We normally pull the herd closer in, so there's more in, in smaller area. That's exactly like what would happen in the wild. They get together and have super herds in the wintertime. Um, so we try to follow their natural patterns as much as possible, even though um, we're in this long game of domestication. We enjoyed our time and learned a lot at the Muskox Farm. They offer tours there daily. Uh, they're 45 minute tours and we cut our tour sh short. I just, I didn't really lose interest. It just was too long. So they were kind and understanding and they will adapt the tour to your needs. I want to thank you so much for joining me on our Alaska adventure and for all my videos on this channel. I really appreciate your subscription and that I value your time. Uh, you have no idea how much it means to me um, for you to stop by, to view, and to uh, develop this friendship. If you ever have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, either here in the comments or on Instagram and uh, you can send me a DM there which is private and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have but Brucey and I and Chauncey are enjoying this journey and I'm very very thankful that you're here uh, to join with us. Thank you again and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!